Police say 14-year-old Patrick Bell burglarized an officer's Murray Hill home Monday afternoon and stole the officer's pickup truck. And last night, police spotted the stolen truck at the Roosevelt Gardens apartments on the north side. Officers gave chase. After a short pursuit, the pickup hit a police cruiser and crashed into a power pole. Police arrested the teen. A person who was with him fled on foot. Today, Bell's father spoke with Channel 4's Scott Johnson, who's joining us now live from outside the sheriff's office. Scott? Well, Tom, last night, overnight, police charged this teenager with this crime. But as they continue trying to find the other person they think might be involved, the father of this 14-year-old is saying there is just simply not proof that his son did this. It will be settled in court. The chaos began last night when officers first spotted the officer's stolen 2016 pickup truck at the Roosevelt Garden Apartments in Springfield, and they waited. They eventually observed two individuals get into the vehicle and they begin traveling east. Then a chase was on. Police tried to deploy stop sticks at the complex gate to stop the pickup. It eventually ended when the truck crashed into patrol cars and snapped a telephone pole on North Davis Street. One person ran from the truck and was not found, but police did arrest 14-year-old Patrick Bell. After the news of Bell's arrest was made public, I stopped by his Murray Hill home, not too far from where the officer lives. I met with the teen's father, who says, as far as I know, he hasn't done anything. Everybody has a right to due process. And I also asked if he knew anything about the officer's house being broken into. No idea. Know nothing about that. I also talked to News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith about this takedown. And I think it was good police work to not go to the car and recover it and start processing. They sat on it and wait for the people to come back who had stolen the car, which doesn't always happen. Police have recovered the truck and a gun stolen from the officer's home. The second stolen gun and officer's pit bull Hemingway are still missing. A big concern is because of blood found at the home. Gill says police have a lot to go on to find both the dog and the other person who ran from the truck. Well, they'll find that out. You know, once they interview them, they'll talk to them to see, you know, exactly why they committed the burglary. You know, it depends on how cooperative he is. So police still trying to find the second person they say ran from the truck as well as the dog, the pit bull who's still missing. If you know anything, police could use your help. Crime Stoppers number is 1-866-845-TIPS. And remember, as always, you can remain anonymous. We are live downtown at police headquarters. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.